design how we design the gear so that when it rotates okay it should be in uh, this this it's smooth rotation the, the the rotational the rotation of both gears driver and driven should be smooth so the in volutes of circles okay the the in volume of circle is in spiral curve traced by end of the imaginary thought string unwind itself from the stationary cycle so from here from this it will design the teeth of the gears so this the design the teeth of the gears So this is, uh, we call it pinion. Pinion normally the, the smaller and driver, okay? Pinion, it is the uh, it's a dri driver uh, gears, okay? Driver's gears, we call it pinion. And normally smaller than the driven gears. So this is pinion. This is what we call it, gears. Okay. The second gear we call gears. The driver also gears. We don't call gears, but normally the term we call it pinion. Pinion, not minion. Pinion. Okay. This is the angular velocity, move, rotation. Okay. We need to imagine this rotate here. Then the gears we rotate. Yeah. So this is counter clockwise. Okay. This is clockwise. Opposite directions. Counter clockwise. And the gears clockwise. So this is the line of action. The line of action where both gear meet in one point, which is each point, each point here. And this line and the horizontal line, we call it pressure angle. Pressure anger. The line of action and the horizontal line. So we have pressure angle. Okay, this is all the terminologies used. Uh, for the gears. So later you could read. Uh, we have, for examples, okay. The most, imp most important is you have to know the. Every single terminology is important, but uh, the most used uh, in these chapters. Uh, is pitch circles. So pitch circles is the theoretical circle upon which all the calculation, all the calculations are usually based. Okay. And its diameter, we call it pitch diameter. Okay. This is pitch circle. Pitch circle. So you have to remember that when we consider the uh, 
uh, diameters of the gears, normally we consider the pitch diameter using the pitch circle. Okay. And then at above, we have adenum, adenum circles. At the bottom of the teeth, so we call it this one, tendendum. Kat bawah ni. Paling bawah. So this is gear teeth. Okay. The gear teeth. The above, we call it endendum circles. Yang bawah sekali kita panggil, we call it dendendum circles. And in between, we call it pitch circle. Okay, one more thing is don't confuse. Okay, with another, another term that you have to uh, remember is module for M and diametral pitch. So this diameter pitch is different with pitch diameter. Okay, this normally term when we design the gears, we normally refer to because the size of gear refer to either module M and or diameter pitch. So diameter pitch not same with pitch diameter. Okay. So pitch diameter is diameter of the pitch circle. Okay. Diameter of the pitch circles. This pitch circles, bulatan pitch, bulatan pitch tersebut, bulatan dia. Diameter dia kita panggil pitch diameter. Diameter pitch is not pitch diameter. So you have to remember. So module M is the ratio pitch diameter to numbers of teeth. Pitch diameter, number of teeth. Diameter pitch, P, the ratio as well, this is the ratio. This is the ratio as well. The numbers of teeth on the pitch diameter. Though they terbalik. They terbalik saja antara module to opposites. So later on we will see the, the, the equation, the formula that to calculate the module M and diameter pitch. Okay. Okay, the rest you could do it by your own. Okay, this is a backlash. Backlash. So backlash is the amount by which the width of the tooth space. Okay, longer lah, longer. Exceed the thickness of the engage, engaging tooth measured on the pitch diameter. So that the ruang sikit. So the gigi dia longer sikit. So bila dia pusing tu, dia akan terhentak-hentak sikit. Ada sangkut, tek tek macam sangkut yang tu, dia pusing. Dia not really conjugate macam mengam. Okay. The, the, the simple word pasal-pasal yang kita gunakan, kan. Uh, mating between the gears tu ngam. Uh, backlash ni tak ngam. So, dia ada ruang sikit. So, dia akan ada ruang. So, menyebabkan uh, driver's gears tu akan at, akan knock on the and the teeth, the teeth of the drive, driver gears tu akan knock. Sebab ada ruang, so bila dia pusing, dia akan knock sikit lah. Knocking on the teeth of the, uh, the, the driven gears. So backlash. Okay, this is the formula. The formula that we use. The module, 
So module used for SI unit is the ratio of pitch diameter. Pitch diameter. So diameter, normally we use millimeter. To the numbers of teeth. Diameter pitch for English units. It's a ballet there. And okay, this is D, this is N. D, okay. This is M. M. So phi diameter pitch. The unit is teeth per inch. Dalam satu dalam uh, satu inci ada berapa gigi gear? Okay, satu inci ada berapa gigi gears? So numbers of teeth of the gears divided by pitch diameter in inch. So you have to remember that diameter pitch is for English unit inch. Okay, module millimeter. SI units. So circular pitch. Okay, this this is the circular pitch. Circular pitch. Uh, the distance measured on the pitch circle from one point on one tooth to corresponding point of on the adjacent tooth. Maksudnya apa? Uh, jarak pada setiap ni. Uh, this one. This circular pitch. This are two point gears to another point. Started from this point. This is the first gear. Okay. Okay, this is the first gear. Started from here and until the next adjacent uh, gigi yang yang ke depan, yang next next uh, gear this. So this is the next one. So this is the cooler pitch. Right. See so the formula how to calculate the circular pitch. So to do a relationship between module and diameter pitch, this is the conversions, module and pitch diameter. Okay, so this is the uh, geometry of the gears. Because when we choose uh, the gears, so the diameter pitch or module should same for all system, so that it it all the gears will uh, met will be met each other's. So this is the size of uh, the the gears based on the various diameter pitch. So the larger, the larger diameter pitch, the fine, okay, the larger diameter pitch, so you see the fine, fine the teeth. The teeth, is, the, the pitch is fine, kachi, okay. Kalau diameter pitch kachi, the size of diameter pitch, smaller, smaller, Pitch of the gears, okay. Pitch, circular pitch, so they can jadi kasar. 
di circular pitch lah dia kasar ha, kalau diameter pitch dia besar so dia nampak gigi gear dia makin halus lah makin halus so this normally we uh, we define geometry of the gears Right. So you you could you could imagine how the 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 teeth of the gears uh, mating each other's. Okay, is how it works uh, on the pressure line. Okay, pressure line. drive and on start met with gears here and all will meet the same on the pressure line mid here mid here and then mid here okay so the gear this will meet each other on the pressure line then uh, the pressure line depending on the pressure angle. Pressure angle. Okay, okay, class. Ada soalan? Ada questions? So far, so good. Okay, this is in interference. Okay, interference. Okay, the contact portion of two profiles that are not conjugate is called interference. So, tadi, tadi backlash, ada luang, ruang. Ni interference ni, dia ruang dia tak 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 kurang ruang so uh, dia ada gangguan sikit interference so this, this is interference backlash the ruang dia ada ruang di antara not uh, there is a space but interference there's no space but it uh, knocking okay uh, ada kes, ada telangga sikit antara gears sepatutnya dia memang ngam they okay, conjugate each other but for the interference, no. So normally we, uh, to avoid, if the teeth were produced by gen generating process rather than stamping, then generating process remove the interference portion known as undercut. So use the undercut here to avoid interference. Okay, this is how the gear teeth being designed. Okay, this is the interference happen so it will undercut to give a space to avoid interference okay one in order to choose the uh, correct uh, ratio of the gear between driver and driven driver and driven so we have to choose the speed ratio or the gear ratio. <laughs> so
So uh, the ratio between rotational speed of the driver, P in the end, to the rotational speed of the gears is the speed ratio. So equivalent to the minus, minus sign indicate the two cylinders rotate in opposite direction. So opposite direction means this is the direction counterclockwise, counterclockwise. And then this is clockwise. So different directions. Equivalent to the ratio of uh, pitch circles okay, of the gears and pitch circle of the pinion. So the opposite. This is the you see that for the rotation speed, rotational speed, the pinion to the gears and for the uh, diameter, pitch diameter. So gear to the Pinion. So this is the distance. Okay, how do we calculate the distance between the two gears? So R and D is the pitch that pitch circle radius. Okay, the very important we use a pitch circle as a reference in uh, imaginary circles for the gears. If we have gear train, So gear trains mean the arrangement of the gears, couple of gears. So how we could calculate the gear ratio? So the most important is because we want to, this is the input rotational speeds and this is the required, the last is the required rotational speed. This inputs coming from motor, so whatever the sources of rotation. Okay, so we want to increase or we want to reduce the speeds, rotation speeds. So we we arrange we arrange the couple of uh, gear in order to get the required to reduce the rotation speeds or require rotation speeds. So the speed ratio or gear ratio of a single pair, single pair of external spurs gear is expressed by the simple equation. Single, single pair means driver and driven. Okay, let's see gear two and gear three. Let's see gear two, this is gear two, then this is gear three. Gear two, is the driver of the single pair gear two gear three single pair okay they pasangan gear okay. gear two and gear three pasangan gear so gear two become driver and gear three become driven di bawah tapi bila tukar gear three and gear four Gear 3 akan jadi driver dan gear 4 akan jadi driven. Okay. Gear 4 akan jadi driven. So this the mating. So gear 4 and gear 5 same shaft. Okay. Same shaft. So both gear 4 and gear 5 will rotate in same directions. Hum, okay, same direction. So then gear five and gear six, 
So gear five is a driver and gear six is driven. So each each pass, okay, dia ada uh, dia akan jadi driver dan dia akan jadi driven as well, okay. Mating between two, three, and three, four, and five, six. The speed ratio. So this is the simple equation. Bukan semuanya, tapi the single pair. Kita fokus on the single pair also. Uh, only on the single pair. So single pair means they the pinion and the gears only. Pinion, driver. Okay, P is pinion. G, uh, G gears. G for gears. G for gears. So the uh, relation, the, the the simple equations, rotational speed, rotation speed, pinion gears, pinion gears. Rotation speed, radial per second. Ini rotating rotation uh, okay this rotational velocity this is rotational velocity this is speed is rpm uh, this diameter so you see that the rotational velocity equal to rpm same pinion atas pinion atas then gear gear Equal to, kalau kita guna diameter P, dia, dia terbalik dah. Tapi ada minus. Okay. And numbers of this pun sama. Negatif. Dan dia terbalik. So, untuk kira gear ratio, kita boleh gunakan rotational velocity ataupun kita boleh gunakan rotational speed RPM, sama ada kita gunakan radial per second ataupun RPM, kita boleh gunakan. Dan kita boleh gunakan juga pitch diameter dan also we could use numbers of this in order to calculate the speed ratio ataupun gear ratio. So any parameters we could use to calculate the speed ratio or gear ratio based on this simple equation. The difference is either the pinion atas Kalau gear atas, kena letak minus. So, it depend on the parameter that we use. Okay. Depend on parameters the uh, that we know. The known parameters. Okay. The known, from the known parameter yang parameter kita tahu. So, kita boleh kira gear ratio. Okay. Gear ratio. Uh, quite a quite uh, very important parameters. Uh, next, bila kita nak kira uh, rotation speed dan seterusnya. Okay, gear train. Can you again? Uh, this gear train. So, gear train D, once we know the gear ratio, once we know the gear ratio, so, we know that the rotating speed for the 
first opinion and the last. So the overall speed ratio E will be kira melalui this one. So gear three is an idler gear and affects only the direction of rotation of the gear six. Okay, the gear three will change the rotation of the final gear, the last gear. So gear two and three, three and five are driver. Driver. While three, four, five are driven gears. Kalau kita tengok balik, okay, kita kena identify which is driver, which is driven gears. Gear two, driver. And gear three also driver. Gear two drive the gear three. Then gear three drive the gear four. The next gear five drive the gear six. Then gear three driven by gear two. And gear four driven by gear three. And gear six driven by gear five. So so gear two driver, gear three driver, and gear five driver. And gear three also driven, and gear four driven, and gear six driven. So for the overall speed ratio, if you use this one, numbers of keys, so this is the formula. Ro uh, rotating speeds for the first first gears and the last gears first gears is gear two and the last gears is gear six then we know the numbers of these the numbers of these of each gears so we know that for the numbers of these is gears of opinion so two and three gears three and two gear three is driven over the driver minus then driven gears over the driver driven over the driver all the minus so you will get the overall speed ratio okay e. when we you get the uh, overall speed ratio so you will know that if you if you know the uh, required rotating speeds dalam rpm kan then we could cal we could calculate what is the uh, the first rotating speed of the gears if you have calculated the overall speed ratio Okay, ada soalan? Any question, class? Ah, uh, Doctor. Yes. Macam soalan tadi, uh, gear 4 dengan gear 5, dia attach in one shaft, Doctor, kan? Tapi dia tak contact lah. Tak. Uh, so, maknanya gear 
Singapore tak akan jadi driver untuk gear 5 tu. Oh, tak, dia tak dia, dia, dia same shaft driver and driver normally different rotational uh, different different direction. Okey doktor. Four different shaft five, because four and shaft dalam pada shaft yang sama. So shaft yang sama dia akan pusing pada arah yang sama. Driver and driven mesti different direction. Uh, okay, doctor. Thank you. Okay. Okay, kita continue. Okay, about the pressure line. So about the pressure line, because the pressure line uh, where the uh, the teeth meet met each other's here. So I see it. Okay. okay the pressure line. Okay. If this driver, the gear bawah ni driver, driver rotates here. And this driven this direction, and but they must be the base arrow. Okay, this is the action line, action line. Tengah ni, this is pitch point. Like tengkarak ni, ini dia punya pressure angle. Pressure angle. And then this one, okay, between the gears. So it has the pressure. So this the the motion, the the movement of the motion of the gears from here okay they get up to atas okay pressure line so the 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 driver move in this direction move this direction okay action line this is action line okay arrow like the arrow eh action line so they are can can gigi gear teeth of the uh, driver gears okay can kena pada the teeth of touch with uh, the teeth of the driven gears okay kat sini so it has the reaction force dan mula kita tunjuk dekat tengah-tengah lah mating ni reaction force Tunjukkan kemudian the reaction force of from uh, it has the reaction force so the forces is here saya tunjukkan ni lah okay. okay this is the rotation direction rotational direction of the pinion. This is the rotational direction of the gears. Okay, this is action line and this is the pressure angle. Okay, so they can the Cassini. Cassini. So untuk for the pinion, for the pinion, okay, for the pinion, so actually this F32 
the direction of the forces is the reaction. Kalau tengok this one. Kan. Gear yang kena lah. Gear yang kena. So, is the reaction force okay. acting on the reaction force acting on uh, the gear 2 okay they guna f uh, in this book eh dalam buku ni dia gunakan in this book they use f32 okay, dia gunakan f32 maksud dia apa So dia okay. okay. So dia ialah F three two means the force the force exacted by gear 2 against gear 3 the force exerted on by gear 2 against gear 3 then kita panggil as f oh this one this one this one this is different this is for this one that does mean Okay. F to three means the force ejected by gear two by gear two. against gear 3 okay. force yang dikenakan oleh gear 2 terhadap gear 3 kalau 3 2 force exerted by gear 3 against gear 2 okay the force coming from okay coming from gear uh, coming from actually the reaction force of the gear, gear 2 kalau macam sini kan 3 2 the force coming from gear 3 again terhadap against gear 2 so kalau 2 3 that's the force from uh, by the gear 2 against gear 3 so kalau you tengok daripada sini kalau dia punya uh, if the rotational speed in this direction this the this the action line so the action line so on the on the gear 2 action line this direction the gear 2 so the uh, the forces acting on gear 2 in this direction Because this driver, for driven, actually the same forces, F32 and 23 is the same forces, in different direction of the gear 2. Right? 
So the the forces acting on the shaft, on the shaft, dekat tengah-tengah tu, at the the center of the gears. Normally center of the gears we have bearing. Oh no no, we have a shaft. Okay, bearing in, in the other side. Okay, bearing is on the other side. So the shaft will fix. The shaft, uh, the, the 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 gears will fix. Normally the this are the gears. This is shaft. So kita ada pin kat sini. Eh okay, pin. The pin. So attach the gears and shaft will be attached together. Will attach together. Okay. So that the shaft and gears will rotate together. Okay. Together. We rotate. This is how we uh, uh, mount between shaft and gears. Ada the slot. Okay. The slot. Shaft, uh, gear biasa ada slot. Kita ada slot macam ni lah. Petak. So, shaft pun ada. So, dekat sini kita akan masuk pin. We insert the pin. Insert the pin. Okay. So, then we have the force acting on the shaft. Acting on the shaft. So then, selepas tu kita dapat tahu the components. Okay. Kita pecahkan lah the components. This the, the for example, the gear two. This the forces. From gear two against gear, gear, gear from gear three against gear two, F three two. So kita pecahkan dia. Uh, we divide into two components. So one is tangent tangential force. Tangential, and the one is radial force. It's a radial force. Okay. F3, F, R. Same as acting on the shaft here. Shaft. Shaft. Having F3, FT and FR. So since we have uh, the relations, the relation between radial force and tangential force because it has the uh, pressure angle. Pressure angle here. So this is the pressure angle. So FR equal to FT times tangent on pressure angle. This relation between radial force and tangential force. Another parameter that uh, quite important to know is the power, transmitting power. Okay, in this book, they use the symbol of W dot. Some book, they use H. Okay, now we use W dot. So the relationship between uh, transmit, uh, transmitted power with tangential force, okay, this is the power equal to torque, okay, 
and uh, rotation velocity, radi radial per second. If in uh, English unit horsepower, so you need to divide the 33,000. Okay, this is the formula. If SI unit, so this relationship. So how to calculate the uh, pitch line velocity? Pitch line velocity, since we have uh, W, we have omega. Then we have V here. So we call it inline velocity. So pitch line velocity. Pitch line velocity V is the speed of point where the gear teeth are meshing. And the speed of that point, since those are meshing at the particular speeds. So this is the formula of pitch line velocity. So this is uh, uh, linear velocity, V linear velocity. So for the SI units, this is the English units. This is for SI units. Okay, just divided by 60,000. So you will get V in meter per second. And here for English unit, V is feet per minute. Are you solving this? Doctor, yeah. I, I have a question. Uh, yes. I don't understand where the thirty-three thousand come from. This one. Uh, yes. Convert from because the uh, joule per second, right? Joule per second. So the Horsepower, horsepower equal to one horsepower equal to this is a horsepower. So you will get what around seven hundred forty watt equal to one horsepower. So one horsepower, uh, one watt, one watt. Equal to joule per second. One watt equal to joule per second. So there's some conversion of uh, the uh, the parameters. The parameters. So in order to get the horsepower, okay. In order to get the horsepower, one horsepower equal to seven hundred forty watt. So. Just the just the conversion of the parameters, so I think you could calculate, you could get by uh, having one by one to calculate what is tangential force, feet per second, for example. So for the force, okay, what's the parameters and velocity? What's the parameter? What is the unit of velocity? What's the unit for tangential force? So in order to get just to convert to horsepower, okay, to horsepower. Actually, the horsepower here is uh, from what convert to horsepower, 740 watt equal to one horsepower. So, so you may get 
if you want don't want to use this 33000 30, so you will get the basic units the basic units so also could be used but for the normal we call it uh, the people say oh, uh, how 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 much horsepower how much horsepower for the power normally the people use horsepower okay for example a condition a condition okay, how much was uh, horsepower uh, used for this room okay if you want to buy the air condition so they refer to horsepower 1.5 horsepower one horsepower two horsepower okay actually that is the the power transmission the power for that air condition okay so you could use a uh, basic unit you could use basic unit that's not a problem but uh, what's the, the the application of uh, gears okay uh, how much power transmission of this gear we use okay two horsepower okay that's easy for us to convert uh, at the beginning okay at the beginning so that everybody will understand even though you could use by calculation you could use just a basic unit okay basic unit for example for uh pasca okay uh, Pascals, mega Pascals. So therefore, we to to change from meter to millimeter for the basic unit. But for the basic unit, so we need to use in order for us to easy to convert to Pascals. So we convert our forces into Newton, and the distance we convert from meter to millimeter when we. Uh, when we multiply or use the distance so that we at the end we will get newton and millimeter it's easy for us when we calculate we do calculations so then uh, we will get in if the if we get the value times six so easy for us to convert mega pascals so that how the the, norm, the people use megapascals okay but we could use normal newton uh, newton and meter we could use that one okay but easy for us because this uh, this cost is for the application how the people use normally okay uh, even you will uh, you will see that the application in english english units even though you learn from at the beginning in si unit but most of the application when you are you are uh, outside in the working environment you will you will uh, see many people use uh, british unit the english units okay pascal uh, uh, horsepower feet kaki can uh, so the measure, for example, the measure of the, the 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 measure the measurement of the door or the height, how many feet? So it's quite easy for a uh, seven feet. Even the measure of the house, can tujuh puluh kaki darab tujuh dua puluh darab tujuh puluh kaki. Easy for us to uh, you know because the people use the the, the public the public use that one. We, do, we could convert from kaki to meter that's not not a problem uh, but the people don't use that much on that uh, SI units okay so that's that just the conversions same as this one the conversion time 60,000 just convert Okay, next, this is the examples. Okay, you have three gears. Okay, three gears. 
qui est A, B, C. Okay. Il y a juste gué A là. C'est ni A. This one B. This one C. Okay. Kemudian, dia gunakan pitch. Diameter pitch. P is equal to 3. So, given is diameter pitch. P equal to 3. They don't use module. Kalau module, SI unit. Okay. The size. Okay. Normally, the geometry of the gears. How big the gears. How big the gears. So, they use that diameter pitch. So, the number, the, 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 how big the numbers of the, the, the teeth. The size of the teeth. And the pressure angles. Pressure angles. 20 degrees. So gear A is driving, driver or inputs. Ada pergi bagi pinion. It rotates counterclockwise at rotating speeds, 600 RPM, and transmit power, 25 horsepower. To the idler gear, Id, idler gear B. Okay. Idler gear means just to change the rotation. And output gear C is attached to a shaft that drives a machine. Nothing is attached to the idler, idler shaft and friction losses in the bearing and gears can be neglected. Determine the resultant load applied by the idler to the its shaft. Maknanya kita fokus just on the gear B. Uh, tapi idler gears ni contact with gear A and gear C. So, soalan dia, determine the resultant load applied by the idler to the shaft. Maksudnya kat tengah-tengah. Okay, kalau you tengok the speed, this is the counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And then this one, clockwise. Clockwise. And this is becoming counterclockwise. So this color pressure angles and so pushing and this pressure angle. Pressure angle 20.
Okay. So kita pecahkan dia. Kita pecahkan dia. So this direction of the pressure line. This is a pressure line. Pressure line. So for A Give A So this is the F to 1 And for Gear 3 Here, this is F two, three. And this is reaction force. And for Edler, it's the opposite. This one. And the opposite of this one. So this F F okay, this is the same one F F two one. This is F three two. This is the same as F three two. This is the gear one A. This is gear two. And it's the, this is gear three, this is gear two. So now we just focus on the gear two, Edler gears. So we have pinions, we have diameter pitch. We know diameter pitch. Okay, this one. We just focus on uh, Edler. Edler is this one. So what is the reaction force, the forces acting on the shaft of the Edler? Yeah. Okay. So uh, diameter pitch, we know diameter pitch. Then uh, the numbers, uh, what do we know? Okay. M, P, and D. Numbers of T's, of the numbers of T's. Okay, we know the numbers of T's. Yeah.
So from here, we know the, for the gear one, N1, then we know the uh, pitch diameter, P1, of the gear one, QA. So after that, we could calculate the inline velocity. This is inline velocity. Inline velocity. Pitch velocity. Then the power is given. Okay, we know the power. We know the FT. Then we know we will get tangential force. Okay. So this tangential, tangential force for F, Two one is equal to this one. This sum, cuma the different direction, can direction satu uh, acting and satu reaction. So once we kita kira this one, kita akan dapat this one. Okay. So we get this this uh, this F two one. Okay. We get this F two one. Then we get F R So this is a talk. So talk, the tau talk is F times R. So talk is F time R. So we know that talk this F R is F T this is R. Then we got talk. So we get the value of torque.
then we know the F1 okay, total. We know this one, F1. Boleh kelas? But if you see that in Idler, this Idler, this input, this output, so the forces acting on the shaft is in direction, in this direction. So actually, this is just, you just need to calculate T, FR21, and FR32, this one. So you have to calculate this one, FT, Px, py, px. Okay, this one. Combination of this one, this one, and this one, and this one. This is the component of radials. This is a component of a radial force. This component of tangential force. This component of tangential force. Okay, so combine both this and combine this and this. Then after that, you get this value. So mula-mula you dapatkan nilai ini. Sebab nilai ini sama dengan nilai yang ini. Sebab all the uh, the value is from input. Okay, the value is all in in, from input. So this value from input, you will calculate this one. So since the gear three is an idler, gear three idler, so there's no power on on the shaft. Okay, so the uh, tangential reaction of the gear three of the gear four 
gear uh, three on gear three is equal to uh, tangential force. Okay. So the power, the power uh, input and output is same. So you could calculate the same procedures. Same procedures here for gear uh, for gear C or gear 3. So this calculate for gear 2. Uh, gear A, gear A or gear okay. gear 1. Okay, this is gear 1. For gear 1, gear 1, so same procedures you could calculate for gear 3. Then you will get the value here. So this value actually is the same of the various value. Contoh ni tak habis. Because this is the, 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 the total, the, the reaction force F to 1, only F to 1. F to 1 here. Okay, or F to 1. Okay, the, the, the example in your slide just for F to 1 here. From F to 1, you can you move uh, because it is the, the same force, force yang sama. Okay, so you get the value. You need to combine this FR21, FT21 uh, dengan uh, this one, FRT2 dan FT2, uh, FT32. Combine kan, but we dapat this one. So our target is idler. But this, the example here, not finish tabis okay so you need to calculate further okay Boleh. So nanti you dap, you akan dapat FR FR21 you dah kira. Kemudian you campurkan F T 32 dapat value. Kemudian you akan dapat this is the y component and x component X component F T two one plus F R three two. This X component. Okay. You can dapat you add the component of X and Y. This one. So lepas tu, you combine X Y X the value of x x plus the value of y okay so then you will get the resultant force acting on the shaft of the idler
All right, class. So, dipecahkan forces ni, you dapatkan forces acting on uh, one and three and two. So then you calculate for one, then you calculate for the same as three, then you combine both. So you get the this resultant force. Okay, so uh, saya rasa you just think of, of these uh, the questions. Fikirkan semula soalan ni dan cuba buat. Okay, supaya you dapat. Uh, then kita bincang hari Rabu. We discuss further on Wednesday. Okay, discuss further on Wednesday. So, Rabu kita akan discuss lah berapa soalan. Okay, thank you very much class. So, don't forget the forming of the group. Forming of the group. Uh,